One, two, three. Great stuff. I'm a cheetah matchmaker. I actively manage a stud book for cheetah in 53 different reserves across the country. So I effectively identify which cheetah are related to each other to swap individuals between these reserves to prevent inbreeding. There we go. We'd prefer natural gene flow, but the landscape has been transformed by human activities. It's no longer possible for Cheetah to traverse the landscape. The vet's got his start gun ready and he's gonna fire away. It's then that you realize things are either gonna go well now or they're gonna go pear-shaped. It takes them a good five minutes to go down and in that period they can cover a fair amount of distance. It's often quite tricky to locate it, especially if there's a thick bush. But once we've immobilized a cheetah, we've got about 40 minutes to do uh, various amounts of work to obtain genetic material from them. Some nice mucus over there. We then put the animals into relocation crates, especially designed to prevent the cheetah hopping around too much. I must be honest, I, I still go through bouts of nervousness. We've learned that it's not easy to relocate wildlife. Yeah, they're very stressed, we need to move. Eh? Right, let's just have a look here. There's a ventilator in the room, Get him out. We prefer to release in daylight so that animal doesn't run into the fence lines and fence posts. During emergencies, we sometimes have to make the hard call of releasing at night. If he starts running into the sides of the boma, then we'll be left with no option but to immobilize him again, which will not be ideal, but the last thing we want to do is lose this cat. I don't think we must have you guys there. Sorry. The last thing we want him to do is turn around and try and fight us. The very best moment for me in this job is when you get that phone call from the reserve manager saying, Vincent, we've got four new cubs that were born to the cheetah that you brought in here six months ago. That is what really brings joy to my heart. You pinch your finger in there. I thought the yeah. cheetah was biting me. I was about to scream. But at one stage, I was also hyperventilating. I almost got in your car.